Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura, and today I have a book haul. I only have one book to share. It's the Book of the Month Club. Um, I belong to the Book of the Month Club. I have, uh, they give you six choices of books, and I pick, pick, I only picked one for the month of June, and this is the Book of the Month Club, so I'm going to open it up. I only, I pre-cut the open, but I did not open the book up yet. So, I'm going to open this up and share with you what I got for the month of June. So... I got one book, and it always comes pre-packaged with the saran wrap around it. So I'm going to use my trusty scissors to open it up and share what I got. And maybe I might have a little visitor. Let's see. Okay, I have a little visitor. Here she is. She was jumping up on my lap while I was trying to open the box. So she just wanted to say hello. So let's see if she stays here. Do you want to get back down? She's going to jump down, I think. Do you want to stay or you want to jump down? You can't walk on my desk. You want to stay? Okay, I'm going to put her on the floor. Okay, here you go. Okay, so the book that I got uh, was this one. She thinks it's the Bark Box. That's why she's here, I think. So this is not for you, Daisy. So, uh, yeah. So here is my book. I'm going to unwrap this thing. Okay. Uh, they give me a little postcard, and it says, I read for, and then you have to fill it out. Um, and then on the back, it says, read for the fun of it, read for the feels, read for the big reveal, read for the aha moment, read for the escape, read for the reality check, read for life. What do you read for? And then you have to fill it out, and mail. it says, photo, oh, Make a photo and put this on Instagram so you can win three months free of the Book in the Month Club. So this is the postcard and this is that there. Okay, so they always give you a bookmark that comes with the book. Uh, let me share the book first. The book that I got was A Million Junes by Emily Henry. Um, and I really like the cover and the Book of the Month Club always has this sticker, this, not a sticker, but... It's always the emblem is there, and the emblem is also on the spine. It is also on the back cover, and it also says what month I bought it at, which is really cool. And then when I undo the book itself, they also print it on the book itself, which is really cool. So you know uh, when you bought it or if you bought it from the Book of the Month Club. So they're always stamped, even the, the spine is stamped, see? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right, so the bookmark that I got that came with the book, it always comes with a bookmark, um, and the judge says a little something. It, this is the bookmark. It says the Book of the Month Club, and on the back it says something about the book. It says, stretch out someplace green and lose yourself in the luminous, haunted world of a million Junes, a deeply human love story with a magical twist enjoy and that was by katie um yeah she's the judge and she wrote that so it's pretty cool and this is the book um and it doesn't have a synopsis on the back um let's see if i could do a little bit of synopsis let's see if i can read this it says for as long as jack june o'donnell has been alive her parents have had only one rule stay away from the Ann Gert family but when June collides, quite literally, with Saul Angers, sparks fly, and everything June has always known is thrown into chaos. Who exactly is this gruff, sarcastic, but seemingly harmless boy who has returned to their hometown of Five Fingers, Michigan, after three mysterious years away? And why has June and O'Donnell to be cure never questioned her late father's deep hatred of the Angert family. After all, the O'Donnells and the Angerts may have mythic le legacies, but for all the tall tales they weave, both founding families are tight-lipped about what caused the century-old rift between them. 
As Saul and June's connection grows deeper, they find that the magic ghosts and coy wolves of Five Fingers seem to be conspiring to reveal the truth about the harrowing curse that has plagued their bloodlines for generations. Now June must question everything she knows about her family and the father she adored, and she must decide whether it's finally time for her and all the O'Donnells before her to let go. And that is it. And this is what the author looks like. So she looks kind of young. So Emily Henry is an author of Love That Split the World, which uh, BuzzFeed called a truly profound debut. She studied creative writing at Hope College and the New York Center for Art and Media Studies and now spends most of her time in Cincinnati, Ohio and the part of Kentucky just beneath it. She tweets she, she tweets at Emily Henry Wright. So, yeah. So that's it for today. Sorry for my glasses. I only could use my glasses to read and I can't see with them on. Um, only for reading. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this seems like an interesting book and hope I hope hope to get to it very soon. So um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.